right, welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, uh, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a project I did a little while ago, but I've put it up on Thingiverse, and um, I found it, it kind of interesting. Maybe you guys will find it uh, useful, especially, you know, as we get closer to the holiday season. So what I what I did is actually an OpenSCAD, and I'll put the link to the OpenSCAD video down below if you're interested. Uh, however, I developed a box generator. So what I actually did is I took an image off the internet, sort of like what I did in a previous um, video that I showed, and I, I extruded it and differenced out the center here and then made a top for it. So it kind of goes together like this. So what I'm doing is I'll put a time lapse up in the uh, corner here so you can see it and um, see them printing out. Now, I want to share a couple different things with this. Now, obviously, the first thing is I put this this base box, and this is the base one, the, the, the black one. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. But the other thing that I want to kind of point out and share that you might not realize, especially if you're newer to 3D printing, is you can scale your object in your slicer. So that's sort of the nice thing about this, because when I did this, I'm like, you know, it's, it's kind of odd in OpenSCAD. You know, so I did this from a contoured polygon. Now, don't let your eyes glaze over uh, by the term. But anyways, uh, you know, so I tried resizing and stuff like that. But I said to myself, really, you don't need to worry about it because if you want different sizes, you can just rescale it in the slicer. So that's what I did. And that's where this yellow version has come from. Now, so this part of what I want to share, number one, is the, you know, this kind of cool rocket box that I've put out on Thingiverse. That, that's really cool. So it's great for trinkets, storing things. Um, and the fact is that I think a lot of people overlook that they can take into their slicer and actually scale up different STL objects. And that's, again, what I did with this. So these two are actually the same STL, but this one has been scaled to uh, be 50% bigger than this one. So you can do some interesting things. So if you want, you can download this from uh, Thingiverse, and you can make it roughly any size you want. If you have a G-Max, you can G-Max size it, too. It really doesn't matter. And so that's kind of the cool thing I think a lot of people miss. And the neat thing about this box scenario, too, is you can sort of do a, um, you know, a Russian nested egg type scenario because it scales parametrically. And that's, again, the nice thing about this design is it's asymmetric. So you can put this box in here. Now I could print a box, say, at it at 1 to 2. So in other words, it would be twice the size of the original one, which is the black one inside here. And then put this one so you could kind of just kind of keep going and going and going, which would be really cool. Um, I think probably about on a 200 millimeter printer, a, a 2X is going to take up pretty much the whole bed because this is a pretty good sized object as it is. But um, Anyways, kind of wanted to share this with you because I thought this was cool. I get a lot of uh, requests and questions about rocket type objects out there. So again, I went and made this box and it's pretty cool from that aspect. Sorry for getting choked up. Got a little bit of a frog in my throat. Um, but anyways, I thought this was kind of cool. And again, there seems to be a lot of interest in rocket boxes. So if you, if you have a fan of, uh, you know, something rocketry, uh, I think this is great packaging for a Christmas gift too because you could print this in a, in a, in a red... Um, you know, PLA or ABS, put a bow on it, etc. Put a gift in here. You know, maybe you're proposing to your significant other and they love rockets and you want to put a ring in here or some kind of trinket or make it into a jewelry box. I mean, the, the uses are endless for this. And uh, so anyways, I just wanted to share this with you guys. And the files are out on Thingiverse. I'll put the link down below. Hey, if you found this interesting, give it a thumbs up. If you got questions, hit me up below. Also, don't forget in the upper corner about our swag shop with a lot of cool stuff for makers. Uh, if you're interested and if you got any questions about that, also feel free to hit me up below. And uh, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.